time, buddy! It's time. It's so time. Yes, Bunny, my friend, it is time once again for all of us here at the Pope on Film podcast to do the time warp again into the third and final segment of the show. And it is said third segment, wherein we finally and eventually get around to discussing our all new high fiber, low fat, high fiber, zero calories, high, high fiber, all natural ridiculously high fiber like so high non-gmo and you just shit your pants that's how high the fiber count is so high you just pooped yourself uh movie of the week and this week we continue our season long summer of yo yo bunny I gotta do what I gotta do. One step at a time. One 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 punch. One fight. One something. And this week we continue our season-long summer of Yo! by moving into the modern age with a look at the 2015 film slash soft franchise reboot Creed! Creed. My God. Funny. After an entire summer of a few up. Uh, and a shit ton of downs. Uh, we have finally made it to the modern day Creed trilogy of Rocky movies. What are your thoughts so far about this trilogy of Creed movies? Funny. And that's really all there? I have to say about that. Okay, it, it 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 was all jumpy on my end, but I'm sh I didn't hear a word you said, but I'm assuming that what you said was beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, what it, what a beautiful speech, and I couldn't have said it better myself. It, it was um, one of the so the Rocky, Rocky French movies, while still being really pretty much a piece of crap. Yeah. I liked it. I like a new, fresh take on what has become a very stale series. Okay, yeah. And I like... But, but they, they had to wedge the plot into the, into the movie with a fucking spoon. Like, like this movie yeah. smells of plot by committee. It's just like, well, you know... The focus groups really show that the audience loved Apollo Creed, so maybe we should do something with Apollo Creed's son. Well, well, uh, Apollo Creed didn't have a son. Oh, well, he didn't know. And good Christ, the convoluted plot that they had to go through to get this guy into this movie to be its hero while ripping off liberally from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to do it. And when you said the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I was... I wasn't expecting Creed to be a... accountant of some kind. I'm, I'm but I was hoping to see a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in the neighborhood, but I never saw them. There was no Carlton. Yeah. Which yeah. I'm sad about. So the Rocky franchise has nine movies. Nine. And I would just like to take a moment to pat Sly Stallone on the back for writing all just of the previous six over, movies getting old. in our... Summer of Yo. He has written all of the first six movies by himself. However, I I found Creed to be a bit of a relief to have a different writer at the helm of the series. Uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone helped write this. He probably wrote all of his parts, but the rest were all... Uh, for lack of a better word, 
I like that this is less Caucasian and less Guido of a Rocky film. I could go with that, sure. I I appre just being honest, this was less Guido-y and more uh, uh, you know minority driven, and I love that. I love seeing that in a a a, a Rocky movie for once. Rocky doesn't know what it. It's in the cloud means? No. I, I have a hard time. Well, well, he. It, Adonis, Donnie takes a picture of what Rocky wrote, and Rocky's like, uh, 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 Don't you want to take this paper? And he says, Oh, I got a picture of it. Well, what if you lose your phone? It's in the cloud. And he. And Rocky immediately starts looking up at the sky. And it's like, okay, I know that he's, like, punch drunk, but I, I'm i assuming he would know. But was he punch drunk? Exactly what Rocky were we getting here? I was very confused. I mean, he had the hat. He didn't seem quite as stupid as he used to be, but, but he certainly was no rocket scientist. He, he, yeah. He, he was kind of a... A proto Rocky, like kind of, kind of a a blank, a neutral yeah. almost. And really, come on, Apollo Creed's stepmom or whatever you might call her. Give me a that woman does not exist. That woman did not does Although... not exist. Who went out there spending her money? To search for her dead husband's bastard child? I, I, I will say I was happy to see Felicia Rashad again. Yes. That made me happy just seeing her in a major motion picture. This is exactly how I felt when I saw the comedic horror thriller The Menu and saw that Judith Light from Who's the Boss was in that movie. Really? And it's like, yay! Good for you, Judith Light. Great to see you again. And are it's we, been a while. Are we supposed to believe that he is the only bastard child of Apollo Creed, or would she have more kids in that house than Annie's orphanage? Or, um, or, uh, uh, yeah, like an orphanage. That would be how many. I was trying to think of a joke, but it might be a bit too high. Uh, so this is the story, basically, of a stockbroker who is still street and returns to boxing. Yeah. Yeah. It, there, there was a, there was one scene when you f see him for the first time in the office typing. I was like, "It is this Fight Club? Yeah. Is he a space monkey? I'm, I'm a bit confused. I assumed that Rocky didn't know what the phrase in the cloud meant just because Tommy Gunn effed him up that bad. Yeah." And now he just doesn't get it. But I, I will say that yet again, here we have the uh, badly written love interest because there has to be one. But I would much rather have Tessa freaking Thompson than a uh, screechy McOwl face Talia Shire. So before we get too deep in the movie, a couple of things I I want to I want to put out there that's not really related, but it's worth mentioning anyway. Uh, for some reason, the latest okay. version of Plex I'm running is kind of crap, and it's misidentifying movies okay. quite a bit. So, I, I guess technically, I did not watch Creed. I watched Rule Number One, There Are No Ghosts. An Asian film of some sort. I do not know but that's what I played, and and guys boxed. So that's one thing. Second, 
Okay, that's odd. Just while watching the movie, just by chance, uh, I, I wound up uttering a phrase that I feel is so brilliant and so wise and really says who I am that this, I have decided, this is what I want on my tombstone. Okay? Okay. Hit me. I can't fairly judge the baklava being this high. I like that. That's cute. I can't fairly judge the baklava being this high. That is a great phrase. I will say. That's a that is a good that is a good phrase. If you were wandering through a cemetery and you saw that on somebody's tombstone you would think you about take that a the pause. rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. Enough of that. But back to the movie. Man, they uh, really didn't like social workers, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have not held back this summer on how much I hate Wally as a character. Yeah. Uh, because he's the he he has been the effing worst throughout this entire series. But um, I felt a wee bit sad seeing Rocky visit uh, Adrian and Polly's tombstone. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm only hoping that Rocky paid for a second. Paid for an extra large casket for Polly so he could be buried with his 1980s robot. Yes. Yeah. The, although, the true although, love of his. Although when when Rocky gave Adonis Polly's old room, the only thing I could possibly think about is like, motherfucker, what must it smell like in there? Yeah. You know, like, like just sweat and bourbon and farts and cigars. You know, just and like patchouli. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, you know, it it would have been Rocky would have been kinder if he said, "We we used to raise a Vietnamese potbelly pig in this room." <laughs> That would yeah. be, would have been more kind to Polly's memory. Yeah, I imagine Polly's room smelled like a barbecue restaurant covered in sweat. Yes, that's what I would imagine Polly's room smelled like. But I still found it kind of sad seeing Polly's tombstone. And speaking of tombstones. Wildly inappropriate segue alert! Okay. Stallone originally uh, refused to be in this movie. Let me tell you why. Okay. <laughs> remember, remember when we saw Rocky V and uh, Rocky Jr. is played by Stallone's own son? Yeah. Well, apparently, that young son is dead. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, Rocky's son, uh, Sylvester Stallone's son, who played Rocky's son in Rocky V, died right before they started work, uh, before they started casting Creed. Wow. So they... So they went to Sylvester Stallone and they're like, hey, can you be in this movie? And he's like, oh, absolutely not. No, my son just died. I can't, <coughs> I can't do it. But they uh, convinced him to do the film as a tribute to him. Uh, Stallone talked about it during his 
Golden Globe acceptance speech because he won Best Supporting Actor at the Golden Globes, not at the Oscars. But, yeah, apparently doing this movie hell helped him get over the grief of losing his son. I, I forgot all about his son because I, I was thinking, like, you know, the real movie would be Rocky has a son. That would be the real movie. Uh, Adonis Creed versus whatever his name was, Stallone? Just have the kids go at it. What was his name? Um... I don't know. All I, all I, I, I never wrote down his real name. I only wrote down uh, Jess from Gilmore Girls in my yeah. notes. So I don't know Jess from Gilmore Girls. I know who you're talking about. So that's good. Uh, it is kind of odd seeing training montages in a Rocky movie without uh, uh, cheesy '80s music from the band Survivor. <laughs> yes. I miss Survivor. Yes, and I kind of I, felt that Creed had the eye of the possum. Yeah, yeah. I I I found it to be so. Recently, I learned that uh, I have a a bit of a biases within myself that I need to work on. I was looking at the news and a few months ago my small town was decimated by a tornado and I was looking at the news and I saw that it, it said uh, foreigner donates $100,000 to help uh small Oklahoma town rebuild and I saw that headline and I'm like oh what foreigner okay I'm gonna open up this article I want to know what foreigner it's probably some sort of Chinese businessman or and then I looked it up and uh, no it was the band foreigner they were having a concert in town and they donated a hundred thousand dollars to help Oh, town. so it was not a foreigner, it was foreigner. No, it wasn't a foreigner. It it was the band Foreigner, but they didn't lead with the band in the headline. They just put foreigner donates and it's like, oh, okay. Apparently I have some uh, biases. Which you could have well I need known. To work you could have on. done that back in the eighties. And everybody would have known. Yeah. But no, I yeah, mean yeah. I, I, I didn't even know that that band was still alive, collectively. Yeah. Yeah. Foreigner. They want to know what love is. Yes, they want you to tell them. So, Adonis Creed, the son of the deceased Apollo Creed, wants to make a name for himself in the boxing world. He gets Rocky Balboa to come out of retirement to train him. And then he has a match, and Rocky comes out with him, and he wins the match. But then right after that, it leaks. Oh, no, it leaks that he's the uh, the bastard son of Apollo Creed. And I am sorry, but I live right here in the real world. The moment people see Rocky Balboa come out of retirement in the corner of a young black boxer... People will fucking know. There's no leaking needed. Yeah. Yeah. People will just know it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But but again, now... now yeah. But first we have to go through the obligatory... I want you to train me. No, I can't train you. And, like, you know he's going to train them, so it's just like, all right... Let me nap through the filler, okay? And the filler is we do the obligatory hot girlfriend. But he's talking to Rocky and, like, I heard there was a third fight. He was like, how do you know all this? Like, yeah, how do you know all this? You weren't there. You were a bastard child in the penitentiary, okay? 
You don't know any of this. And, you know, there's, he knows because ESPN came with his bundled services. Yeah, there yeah, you go. That was, that was the only reason. Yeah. Yeah, you you but, are you are creed in name only. You know nothing about and this it, man, and the fact of it is, is like, your son does not become a boxer because you were a boxer. It's not genetic. It's more believable that Adonis Creed came out and said, "Hi, I'm Adonis Creed. I just cured cancer." Then he'd be a doctor. You tend to be as far different from whatever the hell your dad was. Yeah. Ridiculous. And then Adonis' girlfriend but, gets but the pissed only that he didn't grace tell is her. The good fucking acting. The good acting yeah. made it easier to eat the shit that was being shoveled. Yes. Yes. Good acting. There is good acting in this. And what was with the uh, sandwich and... shop? What the fuck? Huh? What the fuck was with the street food? They stopped they stopped into a street a street sandwich shop and it had elegant dining in the back? What the hell? Hey, that's just how Philly is. I don't know. I'm not sure if that mm. part of the sandwich shop was even in Philly. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Like, Adonis's girlfriend has every right to be pissed that Adonis didn't tell her about his family lineage, but also... How dense do you gotta be when Rocky Balboa, again, when Rocky Balboa comes out of retirement to train a no one that no one has ever heard of, like, hey, Valkyrie, you should have figured this shit out. Yeah. You know? He wins a match against a local boy and the trainer leaks the news and quick pause for a minute. Um, Rocky comes out of retirement to train you. He is sick. He is dealing with cancer. His wife is dead. His best friend is dead. He has very little, if anything. But he comes out of retirement to train you. He takes you in. He makes you chase the chicken, not a euphemism. And he even lets you move into his home. And what do you do to repay him? You have sweaty sex with Valkyrie on the man's couch. Yeah. Yuck! That's gross! Other people are going to sit there! The Italian stallion's butt is going to fart there later! Maybe I already farted it's there! Not, it's not- Ew! That's even grosser! Yeah! Yeah. Ew. Maybe he's already had sex on that couch. So Rocky has a with fall, Paulie. he's diagnosed with- <laughs> Huh. Ollie. <coughs> I, I, I just the first Rocky movie came out in 1977 yeah and then the majority of the series is just so they're, the majority of the Rocky series is just dripping 80s even some yeah. of the movies that were done in the 90s even uh, Rocky V, which came out in the 90s, technically, is still dripping 80s. And I just love finally seeing some modern talks, some good acting. Heart. Rocky V pissed me off so much that I refused to watch any of the other Rocky movies. So Creed, Creed 2, Creed 3, I'm going in 100% blind. And it's just, it's a breath of fresh air to see this film after all the other Rocky movies that we have seen. You know? Yeah. And, and, and like, I, I need to go back to Fel Felicia Rashad, okay? She's talking to little Adonis, and he's like, yeah. I don't have a father. You had a father! 
He died, but you had a... Okay, uh, Felicia? We're not talking about immaculate conception here. We know physically there was a fucking father. But this kid had no father. Yeah, literally. What's wrong with her? You had a father. He just died. Yeah, that's what, Bye, not, that's what not having a father means. <laughs> Bunny, what was the name of that Corona movie? What? Where they named the character yeah, Felicia it was just so something. that they could say. <laughs> Which one? What was... There was a killer. Uh, yeah. COVID killers. The Corona... The COVID, the COVID killer. There you go. Yeah. That was it. And there were two yeah. of them. Yeah. Bye, that's, Felicia. I'm so sorry I remember even that one. Wow, you remembered. So he heads to Liverpool to fight the scene where he unwraps the trunks. Again, you know, I, the Rocky movies are just sports Godzilla movies because you watch it and here's this big film and this long film and it's like, it, okay, it doesn't matter what happens to the humans because you're just here for the fight. Yeah. You're just here to see the big time fights and uh, the movie was good and I liked it I liked the character work there seemed to be actual acting in this film but then like he unwraps the trunks and it's like damn it these movies get me at the end every time and I found myself choked up <coughs> then again I am on estrogen so it's very easy to get me choked up Yeah. still the ending it got me choked up I don't know, that uh, was just the most obvious thing in the world. Okay. Before so, I even so saw the some... movie, I said he better be wearing his father's trunks when he fights. He did. He did. I've got a filter on which automatically adds lipstick, and so by putting my finger over my mouth, it, it's it's messing up the filter, so I'm basically just playing over here. It's... Is, is that what that is? Everyone, I, I just saw the flashing. Yeah. And it's been flashing yeah, no. through the whole thing. I know, because I'm effing it up by putting my finger over it. It keeps flashing to me. Yeah, it keeps, it keeps going to me, to from me to Eleanor. Ten it's it's a lot of fun. Ten minute warning. It, so here's what I was thinking. Uh, Eleanor. Uh, earmuffs. Uh, no, hold on. I, I can I can build it up. So uh, there's there's some homoeroticism in just the concept of boxing. Oh, oh like two God, yes. Sweaty, half naked men just staring daggers at each other. And I was watching this fight at the end. It's fight night. The fighters are staring at each other, just staring at each other eye to eye. And they come out in music, and the guy's like the whole time, just, you know, hitting his gloves together and just staring at this man. This man is going to go in the ring. This man he's going to take down. I'm going to go down. I'm going to take down. So I think that the ring music should be like, okay, you have badass ring music. Okay, you've got intimidating ring music. What if the ring music adds to the psychology? So that's why I'm thinking if I'm ever a boxer and I'm going to a fight just to mess with the person I'm fighting with, I'm picking the uncensored version of Nine Inch Nails' Closer. Okay. As my music. So while I'm walking out to the ring staring at the fighter, the whole time Trent Reznor's just... I want to fuck you like an animal. <laughs> you know, as a way to really mess with the guy the whole time I'm just staring at him. Maybe yeah. a little kissy face. Afterwards, at the restaurant downstairs. That's what I would do, you know? Yeah, no. I Psychology would starts with the music. I would definitely come out with, with Oh Mickey. 
You're so fine, you blow my mind, ain't Mickey? Uh, we were singing hey, that Mickey. today, because, weren't we, because Eleanor? Because that, well, we just, you know, it is known, yeah. a known fact that that song will get in his head. That song yeah. will get in his head and it won't let go. And you will be fighting him and in the back of his head somewhere through the whole fight will be Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. I gotta say, I am shocked Strategy. to have seen... Huh? I am shocked to have seen a Rocky movie with so little Bill Conti music. Yes. But at round 12, at, right at the beginning of round 12, when you hear that Bill Conti score, I marked out. Yeah. I marked out like a wrestling fan at WrestleMania. I marked out when I heard that that theme music. The theme music. I got excited. I got excited. That's all I've got for Creed. Were there any yo's that you counted? I didn't count any yo's. We got three yo's. Three yo's? Okay. Okay. I wasn't counting, but the movie was so good that I just I just didn't count. Yeah. I just didn't. I wasn't really paying attention at all to the yo's in this. So there were three yo's. Well, like I said, the only so where are we now? Where does that? Uh oh, I don't know what the total is offhand. We're 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 in okay. something like the eighties. Yeah. I can throw the pre-roll screen back up. It's up over there. Hey, let's just do that. Oh no. It's I mean, 85 once yo's. in a while. So this brings us... How to, many? So we were at 85 yo's. 85. So now plus three. So 80... 88 yo's. Do you think there's... So there is a small possibility that we could get to a hundred, to triple digits by the end of this summer. That's huge in the possible. yo department. Do we only have two more that for the is summer, or incredible. do you have something else hanging out back there? Nope, two more. Okay. We have two more. Yeah, we have two more. Uh, but I'm super excited to watch uh, the next film, Rocky Two, because this one is a direct sequel to Rocky Four. I just would like to put out of my head his entire origin story and just be like, okay, yeah, that's Paul Grease kid, he's fighting now. And leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because his actual origin story so, drives me a bit batshit. Yeah. Yeah. Understandable. So, that is it for Creed this week. In our next episode, we will be doing Creed 2 and we will have a, uh, a musical guest, Adriano Celentano, will be performing a song um, in, in no specific language uh, next week. Very excited about that. Uh, and if you can, uh, track down the horror thriller comedy The Menu, because Judith Wright is in it. And it is. This is when people were talking about just like a month wonderful. or so ago, right? Huh? This was the. Isn't Ralph Fiennes in it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is that that movie. Great a movie. Was like a like a month or so ago, people were talking about it. Yeah, wonderful movie. I absolutely loved that movie. I had no it idea what it was film. about. I thought it was about food, and it didn't sound interesting. No, it's like it's like, it's like this horror movie. Yeah. It 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 gets pretty intense, and I absolutely loved it. It's like a it's like a famous chef, but if he was also a cult leader. So Guy Fieri. Which isn't that much of a stretch. Yeah. So Guy yeah. Fieri, right? Yeah, it's a really good movie. I like it. 
But, uh, I, Creed 2. I get Guy Fieri and, the... and, 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 uh, and, uh, Jared Leto confused all the time. Which one is the cult leader again? All the time. I'm pretty sure Jared, Jared Leto is the cook. And Guy Fieri is... Guy Fieri is my Joker. Yeah. My Joker... My Jokers are Cesar Romero and Guy Fieri. Period. He's, he's got a cult. They all oh, live no. in Flavor Town. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Joker has... Poison the water supply in Flavortown. <laughs> I love. It. I'm I'm writing a really bizarre fan fiction in my head right now. But uh, uh, Creed Two. That's next week. We're going back to uh, Rocky Four, and I'm excited. We're going back to Rocky Four with Creed Two, and I'm excited yeah. about that. But. Yeah, uh, Creed 2, or as the Plex is concerned, the 1992 movie Ticks. <laughs> oh, Ticks. Yeah. So that's why when we do the podcast next week, Bunny, the whole time will just be like this. Trying to get the Ticks out. Yeah. Scratching behind his ear with his feet. I had to watch the beginning of all three movies... So I was so I know which movie is which. Ah, gotcha. I think it's because I I, I uh, named them. No, whenever it's just I. Flex. It's just Plex then, huh? Odd. Uh, you you just named them C one, C two, and C three. Yeah. So I thought that maybe that was the reason. Okay, yeah. less than a minute. I've got this. But, now that I'm looking back at this episode, the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs, Creed 2, uh, Le uh, Jeff Jarrett and Taylor Swift, a romance made in heaven. I gotta say, this has been a pretty good episode of the podcast, buddy. Do you, uh, agree? This has been a damn good episode. Good. I uh, felt the same way, but you make that decision. I didn't want to step on your toes. Anyway, I concur with your assessment, good sir. So until next week, I've been Bunny Williams. And I am Reverend May Lynn, and on behalf of Eleanor, Natasha, Max, and everybody else, I just want to say thanks for listening, and we will see you next week, you godless heathens. Bye. Eleanor. Trump? You just said Trump? Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do.